What's good, ACAST? It's your boy Eric back at again with the news. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Phoenix Air. It's mad chilly today. Yeah, what a perfect time to have a snowball fight. For sure, Ashley. Think fast, you. Hey guys, uh, it's me, you. Hey, hey, KS, it's me, Yul. Uh, it's snowing once again, lovely weather, lovely season. Um, and it's also Valentine's Day, so for you single people out there, um, don't lose hope. Stop playing league. Wow, it seems like the winter season is still going strong. Hey, Ashley, did you know that it's Valentine's Day today? No. Do you have a Valentine's Day, Ashley? No. Hmm. Maybe you should go on Shark Tank. Oh yeah, today's episode on Shark Tank is going to be interesting. That's right. Shout out to the single kings out there. Let's check that out. Hi Sharks. Today, I'm here to present my boy, Jay. And he's looking for a four month, very light relationship, maybe like 10% on a scale of one to 10 light. And yeah, we'll begin. So first of all, why should you guys date him for four months? In my humble opinion, I am HO, he's the GOAT. Uh, actually, I saw this whole thing here. These are all the reasons you guys should, like all the character traits of why you should date him. You guys might not be able to read, so I actually spelled them out for you again. He's the best looking. In the LookMax AI, I put his face and this picture into there. And this is what came out. I don't actually know what any of it means, but I'm, I'm sure that you, yeah. If he's a goat, does he know how to make goat noises? I think you should show us that you are the goat. Yeah. Uh, that's not a very funny joke. Uh, <laughs> goat is actually an acronym, as you can see here. <laughs> Greatest of all time, as Kobe said it. Anyways, mm -hmm. he's from California. I love that, me too. All right. Oh, uh, he's personality Kelly. maxing too, actually. He's been mewing. You guys like personality more than actual physical attributes, correct? No. Do no. we? I think it's like the face first and then the hair, and then the height, and then the shoulder. He's got zero motion, which is very unfortunate. Do you guys know what motion is? No. Motion is the motion of flaunting your wealth. Sadly, he doesn't actually have enough motion to- So is he not paying for our dates? Um, no. Again, he is looking for something that is very low key, very non-commitment mental, okay? All right, now we went back to something else that might not be good. He is very cocky, and some people might not like that. Personally, I think it's a better thing. Could you flex for them real quick? Um, could, you, could you buy some? I'm currently in rehab. So oh, okay. Yeah. So you don't know how to do anything. Sorry, uh, could the, could the, could the could you producers you, like, do something about this? Take it down a notch. My I'm man just asking here, a simple question. My man is in rehab and she keeps on digging in to my man, Jay, here. And she keeps on saying- You're the one with oh, mustard pants, sir. Oh. So. Sharks, why don't we do it and join my boy Jay for four months of uncommitmental work? Can okay. I measure my height difference? Oh! <laughs> sorry, could, sorry, the could the producers here? please? Who literally could the producers hired this please man? Come why don't out you and have stop? Right? Please! Please! Can I like test the waters and like have like one week and then see if I want to commit to like another four months? Oh, uh, we, okay? we can do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we have a moment for Jay to sell himself without this man? <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like he's kind of tempting for Jay right now. If we were to hypothetically go on a date, mm -hmm. what would we do and what would we talk about? So if we're in Cali, I'd probably take you to like the beach first and then um, like go to an amusement park, like Six Flags or something. Oh, Six Flags! Yeah. A few. Can we like split it? Like, two like, months, like two three months. months, half, and like half a month? No, 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 like two months, two months. Can, you, can we like make it a little longer? We can go up. Mm -hmm. How long, how long? Say up to like eight months. We could do four, four. I would like to uh, limit it to Six Flags. Right. And we can continue even longer if you continue to buy me churros at Six Flags. Okay, yeah. sounds good. I okay. think I'd like a similar deal. Okay. It's a deal. Deal. <laughs> Did you wash your hands after you use the restroom? Yeah, okay. of course, of course. I think what? <laughs> Hello, Sharks. Have you ever sat in your room one day and felt a little bit lonely? I know Christina has. <laughs> okay. I'm here to fix that problem. Introducing. Oh! <laughs> Who is that? My name is Ellie, and I'm here seeking a six month relationship with medium to low six level commitment. Six months? <laughs> 
for my boy Danny. Let's dig in. Okay. First of all, Danny has so many traits that one would only use to describe as positive. He's smart. Secondly, <laughs> he's stylish. Ah! And thirdly, <laughs> he's very wise. Oh, and let's not forget that he's absolutely hench. These are all traits that anyone would love to have in their boyfriend. And luckily enough for you, Danny has them all. Can you prove the last one right now? We can do that later. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now, let's get into some achievements that Danny has, has done. Well, firstly, he's Mechakil O'Neal. And here's a picture of Danny letting me borrow his Lamborghini. Why does he have such a big head? Here's a picture of Danny with a fresh haircut. Oof. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, this guy can't be that perfect, right? And I'm here to tell you that that's not true. He has one fatal flaw that I like to call the sassy man. There are two types of sassy men. One that is unresponsive and doesn't respond to calls. And another that seeks princess treatment everywhere he goes. This trait is not that bad because Danny is a soccer prodigy. Oh. This will make up for these two major flaws. Danny, show us the truth. Okay, can't play soccer. Wow. The deal still stands. A six month relationship <laughs> with medium to low level commitment for my boy Danny. Mm. So what do you say, Sharks? Do you, wanna, do you wanna bite a Danny? Can I negotiate to one month? One month is not enough. I can lower it to four months max. What date would Danny take his girl on as a first date? A nice cafe. A nice cafe. Where we can study together. I think you lost me there, the study part. I haven't studied in high school. I don't know why I would study now. Yeah, I can see. I would like to pass. You're gonna pass. I'm not looking for anything serious. I can meet you at three months. We, we can lower to three months. Three months and 13 days. Could you show us your favorite dance move? That's exclusive. Oh, uh, for the relationship? Oh, so this is only for the girl? Mm. If one of you meet me at a, a solid deal, a three months and 13 days, Danny will hit the goodie. What was your personal uh, review on Danny? Last time. See, Danny's had major patch notes since the last time you've seen him. What version is this? This is um, the fourth update, so this is mm. Danny OS 4. Will he update during those four months, or is this the version we're getting? So we have a software update program for Danny in March 3rd. Will the soccer skills improve? Hey, show no. them again. One, two, three, oh. four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Get a man that can do both. Athleticism be a woman? and cuteness. Can you do that pose for us right now? Okay, I think I'm going to meet you at 3 months and 13 days. 3 months and 13 days? I, is, anyone gonna, is anyone else going to meet? Thank now? you. Alright, that's a deal. Then we have a deal. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure. I appreciate your cooperation. Can we share a kiss right now? Oh no, okay. Too fast. Okay, okay. Sorry, my bad. They really be shooting their shots like that. Speaking of shooting shots, our basketball team is playing their very last home game at the Phoenix Gym right now. Let's check in with our reporter, Elliot. How's it looking out there? Hey guys, uh, I'm here at the final home game of the season. And um, it's safe to say that we're doing very well. We're winning. Um, we've had a lot of injuries this season, but you know, it is what it is. We're still winning, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for me. Back to you, Eddie. Uh, that's not, not my name. The game is looking great, though. I can't believe the basketball season's almost over. Oh, do you hear that, Ashley? Do you hear it? No. I hear wedding bells. Wedding bells? What do you mean? Well, my boy Cupid is a golden wingman, and I heard he's setting up marriages today. Oh really? That sounds fun. Let's have a look at that. Microphone, check. I gotta smile. Alrighty. This is so nerve wracking. Ready? Yo, happy Valentine's Day. All right, that's one. Wait, okay, give me, give me a second. Boys, come with me, please. It's a very special day. Please, please, please come with me. Come on. Don't ask questions, just come. Put this on. Wait, that's a little loose on you. Hold on, there you go. Uh, figure that out. Put this on. Yeah!
Come right in. Yeah. Hello. Please stand here. Please stand here. Mr. the camera, please. <clears throat> Hello, all. We are gathered here today to join these two souls together in the name of Riz. These two are special. They are true homies. Do you take this bro to be your lawful wedded homie? Do you take this homie to be your lawfully wedded bro? Of course. Yes, you may now dap up your bro. Applause. All right, All right guys, yeah. you gotta release the dub, you know, for All the right. friendship. So walk with us to the stage. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wait, oh. Oh, shoot, I forgot to give you guys a ring. Oh, wait, <laughs> it's fine. Hey, put that on and put, the, put, the put this on him. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Ah, perfect fit. <laughs> Sirs, here you may stand. Oh, sorry. You may stand here and release the dove. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it went all the way down. Congratulations. Yeah, all right. All right, let's, 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 make, it, let's make it back. Let's all right. Make it back to awesome sauce. That's definitely one way to get two people together. I want to see more of that. Oh, yes, you can. We sent out our reporter, Mate, to go girlfriend hunting. Let's see how that's going. Hey, guys, I'm here at the library. Um, I'm here to, you know, get a Valentine since, you know, Valentine's coming up. And I'm going to be using some, uh, some of my pickup lines. So uh, come with me. Let's go find someone. Look at that. We got someone already. Hey there. Please! Please be my Valentine! Please! What a great example of how to not approach a girl. Yeah, pros got no riz. Yeah. Do you want to see a good example, though? Of course. I need to expand my knowledge of rosology. Okay, well, that's perfect because we set up an interview with Ms. Chang and Mr. V to have an insight on their couple life. Are you excited, Eric? Yeah! Hello. Hello. Hi. Could you please introduce yourself and how long you have been together? My name is Anthony. I'm Kelly. And together, we are the Van Changs. <laughs> <laughs> And we have been together since... 2005. 2005. Um, so we're 18 years plus about four months. Uh, Going on our, our 19th year. Our oh. Yeah, and our first date was uh, October 29th, 2005. If your relationship were a subject taught in school, what would be the course title? And what would be like one thing that the students in your class would be learning? I think most people know that he teaches AP Lang and I teach math. So I think somehow we would like meld those together. Mm -hmm. One course we would teach would be the love, the language of math, uh -huh. a love language. Like French. I have, I have, I have, I have a lot of ideas. How um, yeah. about balance? One plus one equals one. Ah, one plus one, yeah. And we would prove that by contradiction. Ooh. Yeah, okay. and contrast. Yeah. It would be a study on communication mm -hmm. and compromise. And one last thing students would learn is also listening skills, listening <laughs> to one another, right? And that, I think that helps communication overall. Based on that, if your relationship would have like a report card, what grades would you give each other? Based on first impression and now. I think first impression, it was definitely an A+. Plus. I was sold. I was like, wow, blown away. For me, um, for me, yeah. the first impression, um, A+. Plus, uh, Ms. Chang is out of my league, um, obviously. So um, it, 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 was, it, was, it was pretty, um, I felt pretty on top of the world right, right from the beginning. So grading, grading, um, I don't personally give A pluses <laughs> um, in, in any of my classes. And I did, I did just give us as an A plus. So aside from that, um, I would, a solid A. A solid A. I would a say, six out of six wait. on an AP oh. rubric. Oh. Ah, yes, yes. For any of the essays. I points. would say oh. exemplary. Yeah, exam Ex exemplary. Exemplary, yeah. yes. Speaking our school's language. You already did share how, this, how you guys like first met. But like, was it in like the professional setting or just the casual environment? Professional setting. 
at our first school, um, I was in year three yep. and he was in year two. This is a large school. This is 3,000 3, students. The English department had 25 teachers. Yeah, so so the, the, fact that, the fact that we even saw each other or even cross paths. Um, or that our classrooms yeah. were even like in close, close cross to each other, proximity, yeah. that's like a miracle because yeah. the campus was large. So yeah, we, we met at a school you know, in California, but then we actually both then moved to, to Brooklyn, New York um, yeah, shortly right. after. Yeah, so, that was yeah. a big leap of faith right Big leap there. of faith, yeah. Yeah, after nine months, we yeah. moved together across the country. So wrapping up, I would like to ask you a final question. Have you ever faced any memorable situation related to being a couple in like the teaching world? Obviously, coming to KS, we came as a package. So we had to both be be hired and we both had to go through the interview process. And what KS decided to do when we were being hired was to interview us together. And simply coordinating times, that was problematic. Also, Wi-Fi was very unstable in New York at the time. <laughs> so we had everything planned for our first interview with KS. Skype was working, everything felt like there wouldn't be any kind of issues. And then Wi-Fi went down automatically. Yeah. So during the interview, it was raining outside. It was winter in New York. And we made the decision to go find better internet connectivity. So at one point we were running <laughs> up, up a hill, up, oh. up seventh or up ninth street in, in Brooklyn, New York with our laptops, trying to find, yeah, trying to find it was such a funny sight. And that didn't work. So we ended up in a Vietnamese sandwich shop. About uh, to close. That was about to close uh -huh. to get Wi-Fi. We got the connection back. Mm -hmm. The interview went great. Um, and then the restaurants probably uh, was, were really annoyed by us. But yeah, yeah the interview went great. And yeah. that's how we ended up at KS. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us interview you. Thank you. Great. Thank yeah. you. Is that OK? Yeah. There's not there? Wow, couple goals. That's it for today's episode and see you next time.